it's me again. Hello, everybody. This is Brother Luke, uh, Sin City Preacher. Today I want to talk about a, a joyful subject, and yet uh, a subject that disturbs me. And that is the name of Jesus. Have you ever noticed that uh, just if there's a little group of people around having conversations and anybody just interjects the word God into the conversation, uh, generally it's not not a great problem if God is inter introduced generically. But if anybody dares to introduce the name Jesus into the conversation, all hell will break loose. Jesus warned about it. He said he didn't come to bring peace but division. Even families will divide over him. So when his name is introduced, it's controversial, it's divisive. But I'm sure that there are some people who consider themselves to be Christians. And yet, they don't have the courage to speak the name Jesus. They might be willing to say God, but for some reason, they hold back at God and don't define him as Jesus. And the reason they don't do it is because they know what will happen. They will be challenged and attacked. But if you are a Christian, or what I call a Christian, then I want to urge you to not ever say God in a generic sense. Because if we mention God in a conversation, the general public could take that so many different ways. I mean, you know, they could, uh, as a as a deist, they could say, think of it as a non-personal God, but just a, uh, a creative force, or as uh, the the universal life force. If you're talking to a Muslim, you say God, they're going to think it's Allah. That's the moon. God, the false God. If you're talking to, you know, a, a Mormon, then they're going to think it's God. Well, well, the God of this planet is uh, uh, God the Father, and, and then He had Jesus, and but there's millions and billions of other gods in other worlds. So, I'm going to urge you if you consider yourself to be a Christian, someone who believes in Jesus Christ for your salvation, to don't shy away. Uh, Jesus even said, don't be ashamed of him. If you're, if you're ashamed of him before men, he'll be ashamed of you before his Father in heaven. So let's train ourselves to use the name Jesus in our conversations. The first time you do it, I know it'll be scary. I can still recall after I got born again many years ago, I still remember that this very thing happened to me in my mind. If I spoke about God generically, I knew it was safer. But if I dared to proclaim my faith in Jesus Christ, that was a little scarier. Someone might think I'm some kind of a fanatic. <laughs> but that's what we're supposed to be. If we truly are Christians, we're supposed to be um, a fanatic for Jesus Christ. That means that we are 100% believing in Jesus Christ. A Christian believes in Christ, not just God generically. 
And his name is Jesus. His name is important. His name is critical. I'll just look at a few verses that talk about the importance of his name. Philippians 2 9. Wherefore God hath highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So here we see that the name Jesus is the name that's above every name. If it's the name that's above all names, that's the name you should be using. Instead of proclaiming that you believe in God, you have faith in God, you better narrow it down more specifically to the name of your Savior God. His name is Jesus Christ. Let's look at John 1, 12 and 13. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. They were born spiritually. That's born again. That's a person who is uh, a child of God as a result of their faith in the Savior, Jesus Christ, because they believe on the name of Jesus Christ. He says, to them that believe on his name. So if his name is that important, I think that uh, we need to have the confidence and the courage to say his name. Let's look at Acts 4.12. Neither is there salvation in any other. For there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. There's no salvation by any other name. It says there is none other name under heaven that can save us. If there is this much power in the name of Jesus Christ, will you proclaim his name? Will you train yourself to use the name Jesus? I know. I know it's hard in the beginning. I still recall 28 years ago. I was a little bit embarrassed at the very beginning. I, I People were, the way they would react to me. Oh no, you're in, you haven't become one of those born again, have you? You're not some kind of a Jesus freak, are you? It was a little scary. But when you start using the name Jesus over and over, it gets easier and easier and you become accustomed to it. And that's the name the saves. It's the only name whereby we must be saved. Let's look at John twenty thirty one. But these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. You see? You see how important his name is over and over and over again. It's telling us it's the name of Jesus. Well, this might surprise you, especially those people who have not studied scriptures that much. But the name Jesus literally translates to God saves. Only God can save us. That's what Christianity is based upon. We come to the conclusion that we cannot save ourselves through personal merit. We throw up our hands in defeat and say, no religion can get me into heaven. No good deeds on my part can get me into heaven. I'm hopeless. I need to be saved. Only God can save me. 
and we know the name of this God who saves. His name is Jesus. His name means God saves. So finally, let's look at Romans 10, 13. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So by calling on the name of the Lord, we get saved. His name is Jesus. It means God saves. When we call on the name of the Lord Jesus, we're appealing to God to save us. In his name, Jesus. Well, I'm hoping that um, you will understand the importance of using his name. I know that there are, there are some people there probably are, truly are Christians. They, you really do believe in Jesus Christ. You put your faith in him for your salvation. And yet you're, you don't have the boldness yet to proclaim his name publicly. Uh, I want to urge you to do it. I coined the term years ago, closet Christian. That's the person that wants to keep their faith personal and private. But I'm going to ask you to come out of the closet and, and publicly start using the name Jesus in your conversations to your family, to your friends, in your normal conversations. Don't ever speak of God generically. God is not generic. He is specific. His name is Jesus Christ. He's the only Savior. 